So we're continuing our look at the phase portrait for this. I've got the null clients drawn with their beautiful arrows. And we're up to region B. So for region B, now that is an infinite region because it doesn't have a top boundary. So I want to see, could I just stay in B? Could I pass to an adjacent region? So there are three regions that are adjacent, A, E, and C. So could I go into A, E, or C? And then both equilibrium points are actually on the boundary here. So I want to look at, could I go to negative 1, 0? And could I go to 1, 0? Okay. So a lot of things to check, but this should actually be fairly quick. Because in B, I know I'm going right and up. So could I be in B and just stay in B? Sure. Okay. Because I could go right and up. I just want to make sure that I went right a little bit slower than this parabola did here so that I stay inside of B. It almost looks like what I've got here would do that, that it would just keep going, but it would stay in B. Okay. Could I pass into A? No. A is to the left of B. These arrows are pointing to the right. That's a very straightforward relationship. Sometimes when I have curved null clines, what's to the left and what's to the right changes. But here, A is always to the left of B? Oh, no. Could I pass into E? No. E is always below B. The boundary between B and E is always pointing up. Could I pass into C? Sure. C is to the right of B, and the boundary between B and C is pointing to the right. So if I'm somewhere in B, um, then I could go up and right, but hit this point here. So now I would have a horizontal asymptote or a horizontal tangent there, and then when I pass into C, I'm going to start going down. So I could definitely have something like that. Okay. All right. Could I approach negative one zero? No. It's at the bottom, and if I'm in B, I'm going up. Could I approach one zero? No. It's at the bottom, and if I'm in B, I'm going up. Okay. Now, I did not ask you to draw your curves, trace your curves backwards in time. If we did that, we would see that I could start at those equilibrium points. Whoops. I could start at those equilibrium points, so I can have curves that are going away from them. That's kind of nice because then I can see, okay, I've got some curves approaching and some going away. I'm thinking at least this one's going to be a saddle. Okay. Not necessary to draw those because I've only asked you to trace your curves forward in time. And since I asked you that on a quiz and on an exam, I don't feel like it would be particularly kind to suddenly change the directions on the final and say trace your curves backwards in time. But certainly if you wanted to do that, that does give me a fuller picture of things. I'm sort of regretting that I didn't ask you to do that, but that was my mistake and I'll honor it. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's take a look now at region C. Okay. So, ah. If we're in C, that's an infinite unbounded region, so maybe I could stay in C. The adjacent regions would be B and D, so I want to see if I could go into either of those. And the equilibrium point 1, 0 is on the boundary of C. Okay, so if I'm in C, I'm going right and down. So could I stay in C? Absolutely. <laughs> Just make sure that you go right fast enough that you're staying to the right of this parabola because it's also going to the right. Okay. All right, could I go into B? No. B is always to the left of C. These arrows are pointing to the right. Could I go into D? That looks possible because notice D is below C okay, and these arrows are pointing down. I'm going to have to be very careful though because in C, I've got to be going to the right. So if I start over here, there's, it's going to be difficult to do this. But this parabola, let's remember, continues to go to the right as well. So if I have a curve that's over here, I could go right and down. When I hit here, I'm going to have a vertical tangent. 
And then when I pass into D, I'll start going to the left. Okay. So that's possible. Could I approach 1, 0? No, because that's to the left, and I've got to be going right and down. If I want, I could actually show that I could start here and then have a curve that was going away from that equilibrium point. Again, not necessary to include that because I'm not requiring you to trace your curves backwards in time. Okay. So I'm okay with you having curves just sort of start in the middle of nowhere, but I want you to draw them forward so that I can see where they end up. All right. Let's take a look at region D. So D is an unbounded region because it doesn't have a bottom. So I want to see, could I stay in D? Could I pass to an adjacent region? So my adjacent regions would be A, E, or C. And both equilibrium points are on the boundary of D, so I want to check both of those. <laughs> so if we're in D, we're going left and down. Could I be in D and continue going left and down and stay in D? Yeah, just go down fast enough that you don't run into that parabola. So that works. Could I pass into A? Um, let's see. So if I'm coming left and down, no. Because if I hit that parabola, it shoots me down. And down puts me back into D. So that's not possible. Could I pass into E? I think so. Now I do have to be careful because I've got to be going down. So I can't start down here and go up to E. But there are parts of D that are above E. So I could have something like so, and then when I went into E, I'd start going up. <laughs> could I pass into C? Again, the answer is no, because, um, well, actually because I'm going to the left and C is to the right. So that one's actually even simpler. <laughs> could I approach negative one, zero? No, because that's at the top and I've got to be going down. Same thing for 0, negative 1. In fact, I've shown here that I could start at 1, 0 and go away from there. I could also here start at 1, 0 and go left and down like so. Okay. But I can't approach either of those. Okay, we've got one region left and that's region E. I think what I'm going to do is just stop this video. This is a long problem. Stop this video here. The picture's gotten sort of crowded. So what I'm going to do is when we come back, I'll keep this up so that we can see the overall picture. But over here, I'm just going to draw a close-up of E, and we'll do our work for E over here.